Hi everybody, I am Alexander Pinzon. This is a tutorial about Laplacian deform modifier. The Laplacian deform modifier allows you to pose a mesh while preserving geometry details of the surface. How works the Laplacian deform modifier? The Laplacian deform modifier captures the geometry details with the use of differential coordinates. The differential coordinates is the difference between a vertex and their neighbors. These are the neighbors for this vertex and this edge represents the differential coordinates for this vertex. The system stores the magnitude or size and the direction of this vector. And with this information the system tries to find the better position of the neighbors when these vertex are transformed. When the user transforms this vertex, the system try to find the better position for the neighbors in the way that the differential coordinates uh, as the same that the system has stored. In the Laplacian deform modifier, the user defines several vertexes as a anchors of the system. The anchors in the Laplacian deform modifier preserve the position that user give. If you can see in this image, these parts of the mesh has attached for several hooks. When the user transfer these hooks, this vertex preserves uh, the position. When I active the Laplacian deform modifier in real time, the Laplacian deform modifier try to find the better position for all vertex in the mesh represents in the yellow color in the way that the differential coordinates preserve your size and your direction but if the system need to rotate differential coordinate the system try to do this try to rotate the differential coordinate in the way that always the system try to preserve the better position for their neighbors in yellow in this image you can see that you can resize several parts of the of the mesh. You have control uh, in the vertex that you attach for a several group of vertex. You have the control over these vertexes. In this mesh, these vertexes as represent in blue color. You have a control over these vertexes. When you active the Laplacian deform modifier, the Laplacian deform modifier try to find the better position 
for the vertexes in the yellow color. The system works in this way. For configure the Laplace in the form modifier, you need to attach several vertexes for several hooks or several armature. It's not really important. The import for the Laplace in the form modifier is that you defined one group for anchor vertexes and the system fixes these vertexes and find the solution for the other vertices that is not in the in the group. In this example I create several hood objects for this mesh and I select all vertexes that has attachment for a several hood and I create a new vertex group this object has four hooks these hooks control uh, several parts of the mesh but in a single vertex group I agree uh, all hooks. I add the Laplace and the form modifier and set the anchors vertex group. When I move the several hook The system try to find the better position for all these vertexes. These vertexes are uh, going to be transformer for a Laplace in the form modifier. The user have a control only in the vertexes attachment for a hooks but the user has a control over the vertices that are in the group in the vertex group you can control these vertices in any ways I think that you can control with hood objects or with armature objects In this example, the system is iterative and the system can find better solutions with more repetitions are do it I can see 
the I can show to you the use of the Laplace and the form modifier with armature objects. In this example, I add several armature objects for this model. I add um, I parent this object to the armature with automated weights. I add several bot constraint. I add inverse kinematic, and you can see the solution for this. For this transformation, I add a new group for a Laplacian deform. I select some vertexes. And I add Laplacian deform modifier for a group anxious. When you transform with armature this object, the Laplace and the form modifier only has control with vertices that is not inside in the vertex group. The Laplace and the form modifier tries try to change these vertices. When I apply the Laplace and the form modifier, uh, you can see a better pose for this for this mesh. Uh, the Laplace and the form modifier only need that you transfer the vertexes in the vertex group. In this case, this vertex